going on to all of my Aquarius out there. So let's get into it. <clears throat> so let's get this down here. So for you Aquarius, shuffle this up. So for you Aquarius, right? <clears throat> okay. You have... Sorry about that. <clears throat> you have the Five of Pentacles, <laughs> the Page of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, Five of Wands, <clears throat> Five of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the Strength, the Three of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Sun card. <laughs> so what I'm seeing here for <clears throat> you, <clears throat> Aquarius, excuse me, is... What I'm seeing here for you, Aquarius, is that a lot of you, Aquarius, happen to be in a situation right now where, you know, you've walked away from, you're just kind of keeping yourself available for anyone that you may end up seeing that you like. Five of Pentacles, no one that you're involved with necessarily just yet one person. You're most definitely shopping around, trying to see who has the best dating deal, all right? When you get to know these people, it's the most, <clears throat> it's the best suited for you. Um, and then you have the Page of Pentacles. So the Page of Pentacles represents uh, this being something for you where um, when you find someone, <clears throat> when you find someone, or I should say rather, to be more accurate, you kind of hanging out with people, seeing who they are without them need, even needing to ask. So you're getting to know these people, right? Hanging out with them, all of that. And however, the Three of Pentacles is, is that um, you're seeing some behaviors about them that you don't necessarily like. Um, they tend to have a little bit too much of a group mentality potentially even going out on a couple of terrible hangouts with people where you went on a hangout with somebody and they may have invited their friends. I've had people do that type of stuff to me too. And like I said before, the dating pool is trash because <clears throat> most people are really kind of awkward, you know? Um, I mean, this is YouTube, so I can't really say too much like that. You would have to get a private reading from me. You really would. Or get my relationship course or something like this. You really would have to. Because, the, you know, the kind of information I would have to give you, you know what I mean? It's, too, it's basically too uh, censored for YouTube, you know? No disrespect to YouTube, but it, it is. Um... These people are just very clumsy. I'll say that. It's very clumsy. Um, <clears throat> and the thing is that you letting them, you not being into them because of, of how they can manage to ruin a moment. Five of Wands, Five of Swords. It just makes them, it just puts them in a situation where they're even more clumsy because, you know, maybe you, you Aquarius may have told them, listen, I don't, I didn't want you hanging out with your friend. I thought we was gonna hang out by ourselves and this person's like who did you think you are huh my friends go everywhere with me and all this other type of stuff and it's like so so you Aquarius had to get up and leave like wow what is this you know after you you exchange words with the person potentially right or just something just something when it came to hanging out with them they try to assume they try to you got a lot of people who ruin the moments by doing that. Like I remember myself where I was talking, where I was hanging out with this person and like they brought, they brought one of their friends along and, and I, and I knew both of them, right? I knew both of them. And I'm just like, wow, like I'm trying to hang out with this one particular person. <laughs> you know what I mean? And none of them are choosing up on me to say that they're like, okay, I'm going to go hard in the paint trying to, you know, find out more about you. I done spoke to the both of them, right? I done spoke to, to both of them. But at the same time, you feel me? At the same time, 
I'm trying to speak to one particular person and get to know this one particular person. And this person going to go ahead and invite a friend if you catch my drift, right? So I'm like, wow. So, <laughs> so they both waving their hair, flick, you know, flicking their hair. We walking. And I'm just like, come on. <laughs> So, and that's the type of situation that a lot of you Pisces, uh, excuse me, a lot of you Aquarius are having. I just did the Pisces video, but that's the situation that a lot of you Aquarius are having. It's a series of awkward people who you may be going out with and you're just seeing, there's not, you're seeing what I'm seeing. There's not a lot of people who are equipped properly to date you're seeing the awkwardness like a lot of you Aquarius deep down think that a lot of y'all are awkward but y'all are seeing what awkward is and a lot of you Pisces don't excuse me again excuse me I just did the Pisces reading a lot of you Aquarius don't like that a lot of you Aquarius are looking at it from the perspective of I thought I was awkward that's what y'all saying to yourselves a lot of you Aquarius are like, I thought I was awkward. But when I really observe the, the dating pool, got a lot of people out here who are really awkward. Are, are you kidding me? They are. <laughs> You're just learning that the hard way. The Ace of, the Ace of Swords and the Strength represents um, just don't have you. Mind wilding out <clears throat> if a person if you don't like a person you can end up just saying excuse me and getting up and leaving it really is that simple because these cards are saying don't be out here cussing people out don't be out here talking to people any old kind of way not necessarily because you should be worried per se about the retaliation that's coming towards you but more so you don't want it to ruin your brand, right? You don't want people, you don't want so many people to start thinking that, that you're disrespectful and you build up a reputation for that, right? You don't want to deal with that, right? You, what you want to do is you want to keep your reputation clean so that when people talk about you, when you're not in the room, see, this is another layer of game that, we're, that a lot of people don't talk to you about. This is part of the reason why you, why you shouldn't be out here um talking to people just any old kind of way playing that game with them back and forth you really want to you really want to you really want to kind of put your your ego down um for about 80% I'll, I'll say of the people that you meet out of 100% 80% because then the 80% will kind of overthrow or kind of drown out the bs cuz none of us are perfect right no one is going to say, you know, I absolutely love Aquarius. Everyone is not going to say that. But you can take matters into your own hands to where the things that you may have done wrong, the mistakes that you've made gets overtaken by the things that people celebrate about you. So that when you're not in the room, you still have that reputation of being an overall person because your reputation does precede you. I, I'll say that. There's been situations where, you know, people have th thought some things about me, but ultimately it came from it came from people disrespecting my name when I wasn't there. And it and it was completely untrue, completely untrue. But they wanted to disrespect my name so much, it was so important to them. They would t they would say things like, you know. I cheat on everybody. I ask everybody to marry. Well, first and foremost, how would they know that? And second of all, completely, completely incorrect. Factually, it's completely incorrect. Because if they, because if they were to ask me questions and fact check me, they would realize, no, I don't ask everyone to marry me. That only happened three times out of a thousand times. That only happened. It only went so far to happen three times. 
and I've never cheated before. So what are we talking about? But they have, oh, this and the third, stuff like this. But what about the times when you may have spoken? What about the times when you were talking to all these people? I let them know beforehand. <clears throat> I let them know beforehand. I let them know beforehand. And they were down with it. So everybody were, was all caught up with what exactly was going on here. And they still agreed. They still gave it a green light. I, so that's the type of reputation that you want. You want where even when you're not even in the room, Aquarius, people are still like, yeah, I heard some, I heard some stuff about the Aquarius, but for the most part, I'm hearing good things. You know what I mean? So the things that the uh, three of, of wands now represent, um, three of wands represent, though, is that ultimately it's based upon you and, and what you want. If you know you don't want to go out on a date, you could just get up and leave. You ain't got to. For real, though. More than the reputation, more than, you know what I mean, anything. If you didn't want to hang out with them, you can get up and leave. So the King of Swords and the Sun represents this being a situation for you where what you want to do now is you want to be in a situation or you should be in a situation where King of Swords, the Sun, you should just have enough time to relax, get uh, get better acquainted with yourself, and just have fun as a single individual, right? You know, I know I know a lot of uh, Aquarius who happen to be single as of right now. You know, start having fun doing it. You know, start relaxing, start really having fun uh, doing it. Um, you know, uh. It puts you in a position where you're better able to observe how people are when you don't have the mentality of trying to get to know them on a personal level, right? You know, getting into, put it like this, <clears throat> put it like this, <laughs> um, getting to know somebody should be like a, almost like a mistake. Like, oh, you want to hang out with me? Okay, that's cool. It should be almost like a mistake. It shouldn't be, well, I'm, I'm trying to, why? Why are you taking extra responsibility on yourself that you don't have to, right? Because a lot of times people get themselves in relationships nowadays because they think it's some form of, ob of, of obligation or whatever, some sort of obligation. Like I have to get into a relationship. I have to get into a relationship. It's like, why? For what? Why do you need to be in a relationship for, right? And it's like, oh, because, and they can't even give you an answer, you know, unless the obligation, which is you want to have little ones, you want to have a spouse, you want to, you, you want someone around, which is that it should be the real answer. If you're just taking it just because of some sort of obligation upon yourself, that's a form of delusion too. So let's clarify the, the, uh, the sun. Shout outs to Jason David Frank. So, so to clarify the sun, you have the judgment, the fool, the queen of swords, wow, and the seven of pentacles. So what I'm seeing here for you is I'm seeing how a lot of you right now, right, the, the judgment. So the judgment represents, um, yeah, lo loosen up the chains, you know. Um, you may be very obligated, you know, obligated, just, just trying to be obligated and think about, you know, all this type of stuff and all this, all of these unimportant things, you know, trying to find someone or whatnot. You're obligating yourself. You're, you're trying to keep, um, you're keeping the, the dating pool, you're keeping it alive by trying to make it work with individuals who are just very dysfunctional, basically, and delusional. And then you have the fool and the queen of swords. Fool says it all. You got to learn to let go. Let go of that type of stuff. 
Queen of Swords, the uh, the Seven of Pentacles. This is about how, um, and also too, just try not to be super rough, as as I just said before in a couple of these cards. Try not to be that, you know. Try not to be just you know in someone's face in that regard of being that uh, direct. And it's and it's not for you not to be direct. Trust me, it's not for you not to be direct. What it's a, what I mean by that is is that it's not necessary. You know, you don't have to be like, why did you bring this person along? What are you doing? Da -da 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 -da. You ain't got to be on all of that. You don't have to do all of that. And then the Seven of Pentacles, if you think that this is a relationship that is that is messed up, it's not a very good one. Don't participate in one. Don't get to know them. Don't hang out with them. Don't go out on a date with them. If there are people that you are not compatible with. You can you can tell them you can say you can literally stop them. I don't know why more people don't do that. I've done this. But you could literally cancel. You could literally stop the date. You could literally go. Listen, I, I appreciate you for coming out, but I am not really interested in you like that. I've been getting to know you for a few minutes now on this date. I'm not really interested, uh, but Thank you for coming out. I really appreciate it. A lot of people don't have the guts for that. I've done that a couple of times. You know, what I mean? and the reason why is because I'm just keeping it 100. Like, what is the point of wasting somebody's time when they could be busy hanging out with other people, doing other things? What are we doing here? What am I what am I trying to so what? So and and you know what too? That's actually a better way. You know why? Because when you go out and hang out with somebody and they like you, but then you ghost them, it actually creates more, more difficulties than what's necessary. Because when you tell them what it is, they can actually move forward and they have an easier time moving forward because they actually get the closure because you're telling them, no, nah, I'm not really interested in you. Da, 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 da. So that's pretty much it. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video. Um, like I said before, trying to get this YouTube channel to 3,500 subscribers by the end of January. Comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, hit the like button, hit the notification bell, set the notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop these videos. Peace.